Hello, good morning folks, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets this weekend for Monday's trading, the uh, 16th of uh, May 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers, and you can download the app from the Google app and the Apple's app store. Okay, now let's um, review uh, the US markets, and really the question that I'm going to pose is, will the S&P 500 play out its H&S formation? That really is a question, okay, that a lot of people will be asking, uh, especially after I post the H&S formation in the daily chart. Uh, obviously, uh, questions are raised, and, and given the price action on Friday as well, uh, one needs to ask, especially with stronger retail sales, when you have strong trade, strong economic data and the, and the uh, stock market fails to move higher, it certainly does uh, call into question whether or not uh, this market is bullish, okay? And the bullishness is questioned, and the bears obviously reign supreme. Now, you can clearly see here the uh, daily chart, the H&S formation. Uh, you've obviously put in a lower high uh, this week, uh, and that's been the back of weaker retail sales. Now, you had Macy's, Gap, JC Penny all come in weaker, okay? But uh, even with the Friday's uh, economic uh, release, so you had... Um, retail sales coming in better than expected and yet that still failed to alleviate the concerns so it's not exactly uh, bullish folks it's not good news okay so business inventories as well retail uh, data Reuters, medicine even the uh, consumer sentiment data certainly came in stronger as well yet that failed to uh, lift the markets and keep the markets afloat so there certainly is some cause for concern okay now our question really is will the hns formation play out the first question uh, well, the first uh, uh, chart that I would go to straight away and immediately if I'm trading the US markets will be the US DJPY. Everything else is really irrelevant to me, okay? So I'm going to bring up the uh, US DJPY or even the chart of the yen. Uh, I mean, you can bring up the chart of the yen, it's the same concept. So daily chart of the yen at the moment is certainly holding resistance, especially after flushing today. Uh, the daily chart certainly is holding resistance. Four hour chart at the moment. You do have some unfilled gaps to play with, so you have unfilled gap here, you obviously filled a gap here. 60 minute chart, uh, again, same concept here, you obviously got gap fill, and then obviously you've got gap fill here. So from my perspective, if I was going to be trading the uh, the actual uh, US markets, the, <clears throat> the chart that I observe obviously is the yen. So at the moment you can see that yen is obviously into gap fill support. You do have another gap that needs to be filled above. So if I was a trader, I would expect the markets to potentially flush again. Initially, obviously, uh, pull back and then look look to flush until this gap is closed. Once this gap is closed, then the uh, then you're looking for potential downside gaps to close, and then you are looking for a rally in the uh, stock market. Okay, let me just bring up the USD JPY chart as well, which is more or less the same concept. Okay, so uh, looking at a daily chart uh, again. Uh, the USD JPY still making lower lows, lower highs after the weekly after the weekly concept. Okay, so USD JPY certainly has held the uh, 200 MA on the weekly chart and certainly thrusted higher. The daily chart as well uh, is now potentially putting in a lower high. So given the uh, retail sales stronger than expected, this should help the USD JPY propel higher. And uh, that obviously will help the uh, US markets to uh, propel higher as well. Um, now, uh, the four hour chart certainly is finding resistance at this 109.5. If we flush at 109.5, then the US market will flush too. If we go back and test 107.5, then expect that H&S to be triggered and uh, that will certainly play out, okay? So a lot of it will hinge on the USD JPY. If we fail to break 109.5 and push higher, then obviously that's bearish, and that will obviously send the, uh, the uh, S&P 500 lower as well, okay? And vice versa, okay? So a lot of it does hinge on the USD JPY, and that USD JPY chart, is very very important from my perspective okay now you have had a bit bearish engulfing candle on on, uh, on friday even with stronger data from the us even though it alleviated concerns from retail sector yet it's still flushed okay that uh, isn't a good sign okay it's not a good sign right okay so now we go over to the uh, russell the russell is very important here as well also the wiltshire let's bring up the wiltshire let's see exactly where this is trading now the weekly chart at the moment certainly is still uh, bullish for the week. That's pretty impressive. Uh, the daily chart certainly has thrusted higher. Uh, it is looking at exhaustion though on the daily chart. You've put in a doji candle, so not exactly a bullish signal. 60 minute chart at the moment is a failed type of bull flag. Uh, at the moment you are consolidating above the previous high, which obviously is considered to be bullish. And the 10 minute chart, unfortunately I don't have information regarding that. So for now it's all about 60 minute chart. The daily chart really is uh, in focus. 
and certainly is showing exhaustion okay on the wheelchair if the wheelchair is showing exhaustion then that does add credence to a potential um potential top okay so again certainly keep an eye out for that okay so again certainly indicating some type of weakness in u.s markets whether it's due to uh, a lack of stimulus from the boj etc or weakness inherent weakness from the us again certainly take that into consideration okay bringing up the russell now uh, bring up the russell okay let's bring up the vix as well whilst we're at it okay uh, bringing up the wix and the one hour chart it does show that the vix is into resistance you have gap fill resistance as well so therefore you are looking for a flush in the vix so therefore that would support a rally in the us markets come monday so bear that in mind okay now the daily chart of the wix let's just have a look here you are now potentially coming into support on the daily chart so this would support or uh, a thesis that uh, from a long-term perspective at the weekly chart perspective you are looking for a rally in the vix a rally in the vix obviously indicates a sell-off in u.s markets and you are looking for volatility to increase and that obviously great 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 cause for concern especially with the brexit on the horizon as well okay so that's something certainly to consider uh, given the fact that US, especially the FTSE 100, has been exceptionally, exceptionally weak. Okay, uh, let's bring up the uh, the Russell 2000 now. Uh, let's just bring up the Russell IWM. Let's see exactly where this is positioned. Daily chart the Russell. You are now coming into gap fill support or holding horizontal support. But the same scenario is is, is occurring here as well. You can clearly see you have this HNS formation, left shoulder, head. Okay, we put in a high, 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 lower high, and now looking to flush lower. Okay. So that's not exactly looking very bullish either, okay? Ever since we held that resistance level, we we're looking at HNS reversal. So the Russell is certainly confirming, the VIX is confirming, the S&P is confirming that we are looking to flush lower, okay? Not looking good, okay? Certainly not looking good from a, um, a weekly or a daily perspective if you were looking to uh, to take that trade, okay? So bear that in mind. Let's have a look at the Dow Jones Industrial. Let's have a look at the uh, daily chart here daily chart at the moment same concept it's the same type of pattern that you're seeing everywhere i mean you can see here left shoulder head and then obviously the right shoulder so same concept here let's just cross reference that with the dow transports let's see where the dow transportation is gone I don't seem to have the Dow Jones transports for some strange reason. There we go, down for transportation. Okay, so the daily chart, daily chart, I mean, our transports have already started their descent. So, certainly, uh, given the fact that they've already had their double top, putting the lower high end, starting their descent. That doesn't bode well for the Dow, uh, Dow Jones 30 itself, okay? Now let's have a look at the NASDAQ. Let's see exactly what the NASDAQ is because the NASDAQ is a key um, instrument into uh, this US market. So daily chart, you've put in that lower high, okay? And then you've certainly broken lower. So there's certainly a potential for a retest down here, okay? A retest of 4280 and then obviously potentially lower as well. So the NASDAQ itself certainly is indicating weakness, okay? And therefore, U.S. markets looking for further weakness too. So my theory is that the uh, HNS on the uh, S uh, S&P 500 is certainly in play, certainly has credence, and, and certainly a very high probability trade. But you will need to see the gen strength and uh, further fundamental and uh, obviously uh, weakness or socio-economic or geopolitical concerns for that uh, HNS to be triggered and to to play out. So look for further weakness to support fundamental weakness as well as uh, obviously lack of stimulus and that H&S will play out. So as always, visit CFDs.com uh, for your specialist in spread making CFD brokerage and up to a 25% cash bonus as always. So goodbye now.